Greetings, this is Gynthian, and today we are playing on the realm of Vastin. And I want to show you what I've been working on off camera. So for starters, there's this balcony, which used to just be a window. And then I built this back part all the way up. This is part of the original castle. I've added three floors and I'm looking to finish that out. Then I decided to block out where I wanted the rest of the castle to be to kind of figure out how big I was going to make it and to put some walls around the outside so that I, I can work forward on the progress. And I've made it quite big. I also plan to add some towers because it can't be called gray towers if it doesn't have multiple towers so at least that's the plan and that has kept me busy but today we're going to expand up on these walls and build out some of these walls so I can get a better idea of how big this is and we will go from there you know I like doing time lapses, especially if you can manage to make them interesting to watch. The only problem with time lapses is you play an awful lot of Minecraft without getting a lot of footage. The faster you speed things up, <laughs> uh, three hours can turn into a minute and a half or less of actual video. So with that idea in mind, I do want to take the time now to play a conversation I had with Fixit concerning the mangrove forest and finishing the floor. So let me play the audio of that while you're watching this time lapse. Hey, Gintian, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. So, I hear you have a proposal. Yes, well... I have a problem and a, and, and a proposal. Okay, the problem okay. Is, is, the problem is, is... I want to do... want that pick. And so I need points at the Builders Guild to get the pick. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Now that's that's interesting because right now you are helping me. I already purchased some of your time to help me finish the forest for two, for two banners. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll propose a deal. You keep my two banners, and if you finish the entire rest of the texturing of the floor, now I'm not talking to add little custom trees and all that kind of stuff, just the texturing of the floor, then I will go grind out. Oh, so that would mean I'll count the forest is done. So that'll be one quest, and then I will go do another quest, and. And I will sell you my acute 200 builders points. So that way you can go, go get the uh, the unbreaking five pick. How, how about that? How about that deal? It's a pretty good deal. It is a pretty good deal. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, make it 300 points. Oh, oh! I'm a new guy. I'm a new guy, and I don't have crap. Oh wow! Well, you know, I should I, I should mention that I also don't have an uh, an unbreaking five pickaxe because I died and lost all my stuff in the void. But uh, but on I, the other I've hand, I really don't want to do that times. forest. Okay, I've no. lost count of the number of times I've died and lost my armor. Okay, 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 Mister All in in all diamond armor, and I only have boots on. But okay, fine. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Listen. Okay, deal. I will sell you 300 Builder's Points. Now, it's going to take me a minute to go get those. I'm going to have to go finish two more additional quests. But uh, I will sell you 300 Builder's Points for for uh, to you to completely finish the forest. And you can keep my two banners. Deal. Okay, it's a deal. Uh, I can do that. I can do that. So no banners are exchanging right seriously... now. You may seriously. Yeah, I, I can't give you the banners right now. But that's a huge project, so it, it's, it's money well spent. So you're good. All right. All right. Well, I I, I will uh, go you will grind probably, some quests. You may you may very well finish the quest before I finish the forest. Yeah, it's a big it's a big grindy project for sure. Um, so I got to go see what quest I'm going to get 
now and then uh, uh, I guess get to work. I guess I better get to work because you're going to want your pickaxe. Okay. All right. I'll go get to work and I'll see you uh, later on. Hello. I want to give you an update on the castle building. It doesn't look much like a castle right now because all it is is walls. There's a uh, the front doorstep is all the shulker boxes that Mir left for me. Thank you again. And if we go around, it's just the straight walls, which is not the way a castle will look. I have to put in the detail. And if we go inside, I know it was all nice and not nice, but I know it was dark in here. And someone, Forlock, was kind enough to light it up for me. I added the lights up at the top, or at least some of them. But, uh, work in progress. But I wanted to let you see how things were going. I've also added a few trees. Uh, going for the big trees. And there you have it. I think I'm going to build the front of this out this direction so that I have it comes out more. But I haven't decided completely. Kind of building this ad hoc as I go. Uh, not, a, not, a, not a lot of plans other than it needs to be bigger. As you're watching this, let me also explain. One of the rules about this server is that all builds, all towns, all of the many cities that have been built, they all must be connected by a road. And the mangrove forest is on the road between here and Gravenwall. There has to be a road built from here to there uh you wanted to make sure that it could be traveled by horse which i've done multiple times it takes about 25 to 30 minutes to travel by horse that being said the road is mostly built but it doesn't go all the way to Gravenwall so it still needs some work also it's not built out completely some in some cases the road is just markers in that have been placed in a row blocks that indicate where the road will be so that all has to build that be built out and I can use this video as well to show the other people on the server what the road looks like or what state it's currently in. Let's go ahead and add a wall here. Now this wall, I made it two large. I want to lower it back down so that I can put a tower in this back corner. You saw me with the yellow blocks spacing out the, the size of the tower. And these are the battlements that I talked about. You just go in and every other block, you chop those out. Now let me get back to work on this wall may come back later it's called gray towers so I may have to come back and add some grayness to those but we shall see this is the final step on the battlements you go through and add stairs back to back and that creates the look you see here Some time has passed, and you'll notice the walls are a little higher. But what I want to do right now is fill in this hole. 
This will close in the ceiling for the lower walls that I've added at this point. Give me an idea from inside what things will look like. And that is the sound of phantoms. I have not slept in a while. And now that I think about it, I need some fan phantom membranes, so I think I'm going to fight these guys. They scare the crap out of you when the first time you hear them. Oops. Can you hear him bite? They are noisy. It's one. That's two. Three down. That's four. Four dead phantoms, and looks like I have 11 membranes. Okay, I'm back. Some time has passed, and I got some help. I've changed the front of my castle. This is the new room that was built by me and Warlock Robbie. He helped a great deal and gave me the design for both the drawbridge and the uh, portalus, whatever the iron thing that comes down onto the, uh, the gate that closes, essentially, the drop gate. So I built this, rebuilt this out, added it to the front of the building, and modified the walkway or road up to the front of the castle and built a new pit that the drawbridge goes over. I will show you more about that in another episode. For now, I'll be back with another update soon. And we are back to building. What I want to do now is build up these walls, make them this tower taller, but I also want to start working on the texture and contrast of these walls. They don't look like castle walls because they're too monochrome. So I'm going to... One trick is to use these diorite... Polished diorite slabs when I put them together it makes a texture that is like a whitish block and I'm going to now I'm working on the door making it an arch 
And then I need to work on this staircase. I want to build up the side of it so that I can eventually add a railing. And then this will be the top of this floor. Do some more contrast on the walls. And then I want to do the same thing, the same contrast trick on the floor. And eventually I'll have to do this as well on the walls all the way around the castle. As well as adding in some additional gray colors. Eventually I gotta make my walls uniform. This has to be cleared out. I don't want this overlook. It just isn't necessary anymore. What I want to show you now is what's beneath the castle. We're going to come down into here and look underneath the floor of the gateway house. I guess it's just gatehouse. Come down here, there is a passageway that enters into this sub area, which is going to become the dungeon of the castle. It's going to look gloomy enough that should do the job. And it means I've got to build a ceiling for the dungeon. But that's really all I have time for today. I sincerely want to thank you for watching, and goodbye.